What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 quick tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to change the units and also the precision inside of Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is actually a pretty quick change to make if you decide that you want to change the units inside of whatever your project is. So your units are stored over here in your document settings. So if you go to the left hand side of the screen, usually it looks like this. So you'll probably have to click the little arrow in order to maximize this. But you can see how right here, this list that your units are currently set in millimeters. Well, you can adjust that by clicking on this button right here for change active units. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring up a little window on the right hand side where you can change your units to whatever you want. So you can go from millimeters to centimeters or inches or feet, whatever you want. So if I click on inch, for example, and then click okay, you can see how this now tells me that my units are in inches. And you can see how my measurements on this sheet changed from millimeters to inches. And so one thing to note about this is you can change your default units by checking this box right here. So for example, let's say that we wanted to create a new um, design and we were to click this button for set as default, even though this unit is currently set in inches, if we click OK, not only have we changed the units here to millimeters, but if I start a new project, you can see how the units are going to be in millimeters in my new project. So we've set that as our new default. And so one other thing I want to talk about is where your uh, unit display settings are. So those aren't found over here, those are found up in your preferences. So if you click on your name, and then preferences, there's an option down below for unit and value display. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to set how precise your units and your displays are. So for example, if you want this to have um, six decimal points, you can select this option right here. So if you want all your measurements to be really precise, you can go down, it looks like you have options all the way through nine decimal points. But if you were to select this, then all of your units will now be displayed to the precision of six decimal points. So you can also change that for your angular precision, you can change the way things are displayed, other things like that. So all of those are adjustable in here. Once you're done, you can just click apply. One thing I did want to point out though is with your dimensions, these are not going to update automatically. So for example, I'm going to delete this dimension out and I'm going to add a new dimension and we're in sketch mode right now. So we're going to add a dimension right here. No, we need to be in sketch mode. So we're going to edit our sketch. I'm going to type D to turn on the dimension tool, then my, move my mouse out here. And so you can see how now that we've changed our precision, this is now showing you precision out to six digits. So if you have dimension something, and then you want to go back and change it to that new precision, you may need to re-add your dimensions, as these do not update automatically when you change your precision. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. I know it's kind of a quick tip, but it is really important. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.